Oh, hey, this is Brian. Zeddy. Chris. And we're going to try some random drinks. My buddy Chris here picked up at the international market. You don't usually go there not necessarily for your top shelf goods. You usually go for the random and weird stuff, and you certainly did that. Yeah. I don't really know which one to try first. Um, they're both kind of out there, a little bit different. Yeah, this right here is a uh, what's it called tamarind. tamarind. I don't know what a tamarind is. It looks like some kind of a tuber, some kind yeah. of a vegetable. It, it looks now, like a dried up uh, pea pod. It, it looks can like be, a turd. <laughs> oh, I know that they can wow. be dried up there. and seasoned and used uh, in a lot of uh, uh, South American foods and stuff. Now Goya, I will say this: um, Goya does a, like a wide variety of soda flavors, mm -hmm. upwards of twenty. I've had. Apple, I've had, I believe, grapefruit, I've even had sangria, which is like an alcoholic beverage, uh, really well known in, in like Spain. Um, so they do a lot of flavors, most of them fruit flavors, most of them somewhat familiar. Tamarind, that's different, that's definitely a little unique. And then, Eddie, you're holding something. It says non-alcoholic malt goya. It's a malt beverage. Hmm, and you said it had a very... Odd. <laughs> it smells no. like wet cigarettes and caramel. Yeah, I, I took a smell myself, and I flat. I, I'm not even going to take part in it. Yeah, Nick, this is one of those times I wish you could smell. Oh, because oh. I don't know. I did. I'm the one who bought it. Let me, I, so I guess the captain will go down with the ship. It, sm it smells like paint chips. Uh, it just. Uh, uh, and it doesn't help that it's not cold. It, I don't know <laughs> what the hell that smells. I, I really. Let's start with the tamarind. Yeah, I think yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more safe because I know too. There's a there's a uh, like a Latin American uh, version. I can't remember what it's called of sort of similar to Kool Aid, and they do a couple different flavors and they do a tamarind flavor. So there is tamarind candy and stuff south of the border. You know, it's a culture thing. For for them, it's very common. For us, it's different. It's not you know, our palates are not accustomed to it. Yeah. And this. Um, the smell I'm getting is very like sort of a, a sweet fruit sort of smell, but it's subtle. Like it's not as strong as, as the malt. Let me. It's got some fizz. Mm. That's a promising sign. Yeah, fizz is always good. It's a really understated taste, actually. It's, it's interesting. It's not like if you're a sugar junkie, the taste probably isn't going to totally wow you. But it's got a very sort of. I said very understated. What do you yeah, think? it's kind of cool. It, to explain it to somebody that's not here with us, joining us, you know, having a drink, it tastes like ginger ale to me up front. The back yeah, end is, a, there's a flavor that's kind of hard to, you know, put my finger on in the back end. But the front end, the fizziness, the kind of uh, uh, ginger, like uh, Canadian Dry, which is a little bit more on the ginger side than the, you know, it reminds me of a ginger ale, honestly. If I was going blind taste test, I would think uh, some kind of a ginger ale. The back end, there is a kind of a... a a weird, unmistakable, like, fruity flavor that, yeah. it's just right there, but, and I guess that's the tamarind, just not being familiar with it. You um, know what, though? Like, instantly when I tasted it again, the first thing that popped in my head was, um, pink melted flavor ice. First thing, let me, hmm. The first thing I thought of, as far as the consistency, yeah, was man. beer. The color, too, is a little off-putting. It, it's yeah. a little lighter at the top. It's kind of dark. It's like a, a kind of a light brown, almost orange, kind of an yeah. amber color, yeah. I guess you could say. You know, like they, they found those, uh, that, that um, <laughs> you know, I'm going Jurassic Park here. Yeah. You know, oh, in the, the, the sass. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's where my mind's at. But, uh, so this isn't too bad. It's not super weird. It's just different enough that it's kind of an interesting curiosity. Yeah, and I, I think... Um, Goya, you know, our international market carries it, but even some of our uh, grocers have some Goya flavors. So look look for Goya. And maybe not necessarily tamarind, but try. Try a, a flavor of Goya. You guys ready for me to... <laughs> oh my god. To... As my buddy Nick, running camera, has been known to say, ready as I'll never be, baby. Well, my nose says no. Let's see what my taste buds say. <laughs> Some reason I went to... I became Jim Duggan. <laughs> It's okay. Is, yeah. it, is it funky? Because the smell is off-putting. It, it smells, it smells like a, a like okay. a bottle of vitamins. Yeah, it had that kind of irony mineral. Yeah, like kind of like, earthy. Familiar. Yeah, familiar, like you said earlier. Like, I, but I don't know, like, kind of like how you described earlier. Like, mm -mm. You don't like it? Oh. Not my thing. I'm not a fan of it. It, it, I don't think it, yeah. it almost came back up. I like that. That it's resiliency. Not, it's not the worst I ever had. I just I wouldn't drink it again. Well, we still got this one. You can change what's on your <laughs> taste buds. Yeah, it's like. refresco. Yes. That is really weird. <laughs> I think I'll have a little myself. That's that's, that's weird, man. Now <laughs> I, I I feel like you, you know, 
I don't know if either of you under or oversold it, but to me that was as weird as the smell maybe Wilder, especially as I kind of filtered it through. I kind of, you know, kind of like mixed it around to try to open up essence. You gotta unlock flavors in some things. It's not always right up front. And the more I did that, the weirder and kind of grungier and kind of like, what? Like garbage watery, it got. It's really <laughs> it does, weird. You know, yeah. I mean, ironically, Ed's reaction was the least strong, and he was the one from the smell. That was kind yeah. of yeah. So yeah, that was weird. So, I mean, the malt Ed, beverage. I don't know malt is. I, maybe somebody could clarify in the comments and maybe add a little bit more to malt. I know is it like an age thing? Is you know, you know, I don't know. Again, it's probably a culture thing. Somewhere it's yeah. very accepted. To us odd. Yeah. So that those were interesting. Um, I don't know. Any closing thoughts, guys? Uh, I probably wouldn't pick it up. Yeah, I mean... Oh, <laughs> oh damn, that's bright out here. <laughs> He's had those on all day. All right, guys. Um, I think the moral of the story, though, gents, is try some stuff like this. Maybe not necessarily these, but next yeah. time you're at the store, or if you're having some friends over, guys, kick back on a couple weird drinks, you know? Yeah, exactly. And uh, it was definitely fun.